Welcome to the Cover Your Assets podcast, a show for the physician who understands the importance of protecting everything you've worked so hard to achieve. If you're ready to find the peace of mind that only financial security can bring, let's get started. Here's your host, Billy Gwaltney. Hello, welcome to today's episode of the Cover Your Assets podcast. I'm your host, Billy Gwaltney. Uh, It's good to be with you as always. Uh, Thank you for joining The title of today's episode is a Q&A, what if I don't have time to research the options? And in working with physicians across the country, thousands in training and then working with them throughout their career, one of the first things that pretty much everybody that I talk to says is they kind of update me on whether or not they've done any research. And they say, hey, I've looked at these things, I have a general idea, or they'll say, I haven't I haven't spent three seconds on this. And there's like this apology for that. And I totally get it. And so I just want to chat about that. Like, what if, what if you don't have time and, or or what if you, if you do have time, you don't even know where to start. A couple of things that I would recommend and, and, you know, I say these, whether these roads lead to me or not, uh, hopefully they would, but if they don't, as long as you get the best coverage, that's what the goal is. One would be to talk to some colleagues about who they worked with, someone that you really trust, not only in how they live their life and do their their practice or what have you, but they have some astuteness or discernment about them as it relates to financial matters. Uh, I think that would be key to uh, just maybe ask one or two people and see who they spoke with. The other one is you can do some online research, obviously. I'll tell you here who the four contracts are that you need to limit uh, your policy with. And I'm an independent broker. None None of these companies pay my overhead, but these are the only four as we sit here today. They are Mass Mutual, Guardian, uh, Principal, and Emeritus, okay? If you get outside of these four contracts, then then things get muddy really quick. And within these contracts, these four, uh, it's totally okay to pick a less expensive one, depending on your specialty and so forth. But here's the key. It's possible to have one of these four contracts, one of these four companies, I should say, and not have the true specialty definition, not have the recovery benefit, uh, not have the key elements of coverage that are vital uh, that you would regret not having if you ever had to file a claim. And so that's where really, uh, so kind of giving you these these contracts, to, these four companies to go by, ultimately you do want to try to find an expert. Unfortunately, there aren't a lot of, of, of us. I'm, I think I'm one of these. There are probably a dozen or so of us across the country. You know, uh, I, I will say that rarely are we walking up and down the hospital halls. We, we deal with most of our clients virtually or electronically. And because we're just, we're, we're just talking to so many physicians that are in your spot and trying to help as many as we can. And there's an expertise that goes with that in terms of understanding the contract language, uh, understanding uh, how to complete the application in such a way as to make sure that those definitions are on there understanding the medical screening part, uh, whether you can get it uh, with streamlined medical screening or another route, that's, that's vital to, to understand, making sure you have the maximum total discount. Uh, often, like one company right now, their maximum discount is 31% for trainees, and it's a combination of three different discounts. You want to make sure that you're working with somebody that knows all three, or, or at least uh, has a, an understanding of how those uh, work together. The other thing is ad- advocating at the time of claim. That, that's a big deal, making sure that that you, uh, if you ever did have to file a claim, if you ever did need a check to show up, that it actually shows up. The broker's the one that clears things up when when the communication gets muddy, as it sometimes can during the, during the, the claims adjudication process. So you do want to find an expert. Um, if you work online with someone that you never talked to or, or don't know that particular person, they're not your expert. They're just a customer service rep or they're somebody that's just going to hand you off to someone else. Just keep that in mind that when you go to file a claim, you're going to get a department or an 800 number or an email address. You want to make sure that you work with an expert that has a team and these insurance companies know us, they know me. And so working with them, uh, there's familiarity. They, they actually, it's another thing, you know, you want to make sure that they enjoy working with your broker. Some brokers are less fun to deal with. And so uh, those details really do matter, but it is, it is very possible to get a really good policy, the best policy without doing a ton of research. I tell anybody that I talk to that you're going to get the same like level of care 
and service and detail focused, making sure that the definitions are what, what they need to be, whether you look under the hood and understand everything going on or whether you say, uh, help me just find the right one to do. I just don't have a lot of time to focus on it. You're going to get the same level. You're going to get the same definitions. You're going to get the same care. You're going to get the same uh, service, concierge level service. So that's my commitment. Uh, make sure your broker commits to that. It is possible to take care of this without having to understand everything uh, or the majority of what's going on under the hood with these contracts. So I hope this makes sense. I hope this helps at least shed some light on what you do if you don't uh, have the time or feel like you have the, the, the direction to understand it fully before you explore and talk with someone. Reach out to me here. would be happy to help. 704-270-2376. Feel free to text me and we can arrange a conversation. 704-270-2376. Thank you. See you next time. Thanks for listening to the Cover Your Assets podcast, a work P2P production. New episodes drop every two weeks. If you've enjoyed the conversation, subscribe, rate, and review this podcast. For more tips and advice, visit the website and YouTube channel. Check the show notes for links. Join us next time for another episode dedicated to helping physicians like you get your disability insurance right and protect your way of life.